hey, it's 2024, and I can't think of a better way to celebrate than to look back at the 2023 chase season. Today we're going to go over my six favorite photos from this past year. First up, we're going to take a look at this one. This comes from rural Jasper County here in Iowa. And as you can see, there's a young updraft starting to merge with a more established storm to its east. That storm was tornado warned, never produced, um, was kind of a ho-hum sort of chase day, but I did come away with this photo that I rather enjoy. It has some great contrast within the, the updraft and the storm itself, and I like the juxtaposition to the clearing sky back behind it. The foreground also is something that's a bit unusual for me. I'm usually in a hurry. I stay on the road near the vehicle, but this time I actually, despite the lightning, stepped out into the open field a bit and got those leading lines using the uh, row crop and the power pole and power lines feeding directly to the subject with that young updraft. So this was number six on our list. We're going to work our way to my favorite. This next photo may be a surprise to you as it is a bucket list tornado for me. This was captured between Pleasantville and Knoxville, Iowa back in April. And for the longest time, I've wanted this sidewinder roping out type tornado and it did not disappoint. It looks very similar in fact to uh, the second tornado that's in the movie Twister. Uh, not only do you get the tornado in this frame, but you see kind of a small yet very, very well-defined wall cloud, and of course just the, the immense size of the storm above it, which a lot of it I cropped off because it was sort of ill-defined. That's why we're looking at a more of a pan panoramic type frame here. I consciously wanted to make sure to include that farm on the lower right just to give some scale. And I also kept in those trees to sort of balance the photo uh, so that the left side wasn't too light and the right side too dark. Kind of evens it out a little bit. Definitely a memorable day. The tornado was really cool to watch. Uh, besides the funnel, which at some times became truncated or separated, there were these uh, helical vertices that kind of wrap their, themselves around the main funnel. Very cool to watch. All right, our next photo comes to us from near the Iowa-Nebraska border, photographing these storms at sunset or just after. Uh, they're still developing and growing over in Nebraska as I took this from Shenandoah, Iowa, far southwest corner of the state. But you'll see pretty, I would say, minimalistic image uh, utilizing the rule of thirds. But what I really enjoy about this photo is the color contrast. The blues with the orangey pinks and just how they sort of alternate with those reverse crispecular rays. The shadows cast from the, the top of the storm there. This uh, definitely is one of my favorites and one I tend to look back on the most uh, when viewing photographs from this past year. Now this next photo is a complete opposite. It's gray, grungy, very moody, not something that I have a lot of in my portfolio, because usually in these circumstances, I'm focused more on video, preparing for a tornado perhaps. And you can kind of see just a little bit of a funnel getting teased out there uh, above the, the little farmstead and that clear slot right behind it, and those white clouds kind of give it some separation and basically make it visible in an otherwise very gray photo. The rain's coming down at this point. There's an RFD or rear flank downdraft just about to hit. Uh, I was lucky enough to avoid water rain spots on the lens. And this by far is probably the most moody, storyful photo of my 2023 chase season. And even though it's not number one, it's probably the one I'd want to most have printed and hung on the wall, which Maybe I should do sometime. And this, uh, I should add, was taken near Deloitte, Iowa, out on the western side of the state back in April. Okay, this next storm was actually the second line to come through south central Nebraska. The first one had storms that produced just a tremendous amount of hail, and with it left the most dense hail fog I have ever seen. 
and I got some great photos from that. They probably should have made it in my top six, but for sure they're in my top 10. This storm, however, developed later on in the evening, as you can tell, near sunset, and I was just so happy to see it. I don't get a lot of these low precipitation supercells in Iowa, and just having that sculpted rain-free base, you can see the styrations in it, indicating that it was rotating. Never produced a tornado, but it was just a treat to watch, and it moved very slowly, um, probably in the neighborhood of 15 to 20 miles per hour. Again, you'll notice a little bit of color contrast with the yellows lower in the frame and then the blue sky kind of sneaking in there behind the storm uh, and then juxtaposed that bright area to the darker downdraft or falling rain on the right side of the frame. I stood out there a long time hand-holding, trying to capture a bolt with the storm, but they always seem to happen in between frames, such as the luck of handheld lightning photography. If I was more prepared, I would have been out there with the tripod. Perhaps a little unsafe, um, but I'm not disappointed. <laughs> this storm actually brings us to our last image and my favorite of 2023. Probably 45 minutes later in the twilight hours, this storm was still going and it was a prolific lightning producer. We had Cloud to ground, cloud to air, and as you can see, cloud to cloud lightning. I had quite a few great images from this time period, but this one stood out the most. I think mostly for the double arches. A couple elements in this photo. I wanted to make sure to include one. If you look over on the left-hand side, you can see just a little bit of twilight and that one little star shining through behind the storm. And then in the foreground, in the lower left corner you see I kept my headlights on. One, it adds a little bit more color contrast with the green to the purple, but I wanted to tell the story of where I was and being on this lonely gravel road basically in the middle of the night. Definitely an experience I will never forget. When I got back in the truck, you know, I was... <laughs> For those who don't know me, I was very excited. <laughs> I was yelling and shouting and giving a little fist pump. Uh, I haven't captured lightning quite like this in many years. It's not something I really focus on when I'm storm chasing. So it was a definite treat and something I'm very excited about. So there you have it. My favorite six storm photos of 2023. I expect a lot more coming up in 2024. I'm going to make photography a real focus for this coming year. And I hope you'll be along for the ride. Before you leave, leave a comment. I'd like to hear your favorite storm photo of these six down in the comment section. So, till next time, chase on my friends.